Welcome to Random Talk. I'm Anthony. This is Brandon. How's everybody doing? Let's begin. All right. So today we're starting off with our topic of the day: Super Nintendo and our top ten favorite games from ten to one. Amazing system, I gotta say. But before we get into that, let's we gotta shout something out. Don't we? Yeah, we do. We gotta shout out our friend Leslie, who was gracious enough to give us this pennant for our show. We had a blank wall back here; it wasn't looking all that no, good. But now not. we have this of the Vegas Golden Knights. We're from Vegas. Huge fans. Gotta right. support the team. We gotta support our home first pro team. But this is not what we're talking about today. So let's get into our what we're gonna talk about. So we're talking Super Nintendo. Maybe some of you out there have never played Super Nintendo. Maybe just a little too young for this system. But they had some great games. We're going to go ahead and get into our top 10 list. Brandon, what's your number 10? My number 10, i got to go with the superhero classic Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage. You know, this game was released in 94 by Software Creation. Yep. So, you know, back in the day, Spider-Man, great superhero. He was actually probably one of my favorite superheroes still this time. i got to say, you know, swinging around with him, you're a human spider. Fighting off all these bad guys. You know, you gotta fight Dr. Ock, you gotta fight Venom, and all of a sudden in this game, there's a new villain, Carnage. Carnage, amazing villain. Wait till you guys... Yeah, from what I'm hearing, there's gonna be rumor of a movie coming out. You guys are gonna love to see that. If you don't, you, you'll eventually find it out, actually. But, what's yours? Number 10 for me, Star Fox. Star Fox. So, That's yes. all I really need to say. Star, Star Fox. Fox. Fox, ship, blowing up things, trying to save the planet, trying to save the world. 1993 released by Nintendo. Number nine? My number nine. Great classic. Mega Man X. You know, back in the day, futuristics were always the dream by everybody. So, Android Humanoid was a huge one. You got this Android Humanoid hero running around saving the world. On top of that, the biggest feature about him? Arm cannon. Boom. Boom, baby. Gotta, Gotta love the laser. The arm... All the different accessories that you picked up. You got the cannon blast, the laser blast, you got the multi-blast. Oh, too many to go through. It's ridiculous. Number, I love it. Number nine for me, NHL 94. We're moving sports. into the sports world now. Sports. 1993 released by EA Sports. It's a wonderful game. You get that over-the-top camera view. If you're me, I was a Ducks fan in those days. The Knights weren't around. Played this game for many, many hours, many, many nights with my brother. That'll we went it. back and forth. Great game. Hard-hitting. I love it. Number eight. Number eight. All right. So we're getting back into the futuristics again. Like I said, back in the day, everybody dreamt about the future. So when the games came out and the future was able to be done in the games, this one was a huge racing game, F-Zero, which was released in 91 by Nintendo. A lot of you don't even know what F-Zero is because it's such ahead of its time. It was released during, you know, this time. Not a lot of people realize it. Only the main people that know about the main character are the ones that, yeah. that played it. But... Where can you find this main character? So the main character is Captain Falcon. All of you know what that is. Super Smash Brothers. Right. If you haven't played that, I'm sorry. You need to play it. But you gotta play F-Zero just as much, too. Yeah. So, F-Zero. Futuristic game. Flying around as a zero-gravity racetrack. You know, no borders, no boundaries, no limits whatsoever. Just beating the other opponents to number one to win it all. That's right. But you gotta watch out for the road hazard of your opponent ramming you, blowing you up, or falling off the map. <laughs> Number eight for me, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Street Fighter? Oh, right. 1993, Capcom, Ken for me, but other amazing characters in this game. Chun-Li, Guile, yeah. M. Bison, wonderful game. You can go to country to country fighting, trying to become the best Street Fighter in the world. Yep. I mean, like I said, you know, right, you all the way? Even though you're Ken, we got the opposites. It's cool. Just Number like, seven? Number seven. All right. Number seven. Amazing game back in the day. Still currently, still one of the amazing characters. Yes. Donkey Kong Country. 94 is when this was released by a company called Rare. Which, ironic, is Rare. Because they don't make really any other games. Ones. Yeah, like, they don't. They just fell off. Never stopped. Nintendo bought the rights. They make the games now. Nice. Yeah. Number seven for me, if you watched the last video, you know I'm a big wrestling fan. I was rocking that AJ Styles. That's WWF Raw, 1994 release by acclaim. And for me, it got no better because you could be all the characters you were watching on TV. Undertaker, Bret Hart, Razor Ramon, and of course my favorite, Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels, my favorite was Undertaker. All the way. Can't yeah, go wrong. Tombstone with somebody. Can't Tombstone. go wrong with the dead man, that's for sure. What's your number six? My number six, an amazing movie by Disney. If you haven't seen it, you're going to have to go see it. Guaranteed. The game, Aladdin, 
was released in 1993 by Capcom. Not by Disney. No, Capcom. Hmm. Disney gave the rights to Capcom, told him, here's the story, make the game, as long as it's the storyline itself. Wow. So, you play the story of the movie. Which, by the way, like I said, go see it. Great movie. <laughs> My favorite movie. Number six for me, another favorite of mine, cartoon-wise, comic book-wise, movie-wise, that'd be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, oh. Turtles oh. in Time, yes. that 1992 release by Konami. Great game. If you played it in the arcade, you could play four players, all four turtles. If you played it at home, if you were like me, had a sibling, he was Michelangelo, I was Leonardo. What about you? You know, I played rap a lot. I liked Leo. Leo was one of my favorites, you know. Yeah. Katanas yeah. were a big thing for, you know, young aged kids back in the day. Yeah, so that's a great game right there. Number five? Number five actually was the same. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was my number five. Great game. Like I said, I played Raph a lot of times because I like the angry movie. Can't go wrong with Raph. No. Number five for me was already on his list. That's Donkey Kong Country. Like he said, great game. Donkey Kong just trying to save his world. His bananas got stolen. He's trying to get his bananas back. Why the bananas? His bananas, bro. Every time he'd go in that cave and his shake bananas his wouldn't head. be there, shake his head. Oh, that was just great. Tons, tons of fun. Number four? Number four which was stated earlier already on his list, Star Fox. You yeah. know, Star Fox, you're in the space, you're in a spaceship, you're a fox, the same galaxy, the world. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Number four for me, very underrated. I don't see this really on anybody's list. That's Tiny Toon Adventures, Buster Bust Loose. You're Buster Bunny, trying to save your friends. Of course, my favorite level on that when you're in the Acme University football team and you're just trying to score that touchdown. Oh, uh, yep. I remember that. That was fun. That's I still I play that game just for that level. I know the code. Maybe one day we'll give it to you guys. We'll, we'll see. see. Number three now. It's funny, funny. Yeah. Because is... we have the same game. Yep. We, we chose the same game. Same, you know, number three. Is, it's on our top third. Super Mario Kart. We didn't see our list beforehand and we didn't write it together. Nope. Super Mario Kart just happened to be there. But you can't go wrong. Super Mario and racing carts. Come on. Yeah, the racing carts. And on top of that, first game to add balloons to where you get random skills and abilities to oh, hurt right. your, yep. to take out your teammates. Shoot that red shell. Got it. Oh, no, dude, the blue shell. I hated the blue shell. <laughs> Number two for you. Number two. Oh, another amazing game. Gotta say, Super Mario All Stars. Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely one of the best games ever. Yeah, gotta, got play, gotta play all three games. In one game. That's right. Collection all there. Number two for me, another game that I find to be underrated, Tecmo Super Bowl. Uh, Getting more. back into the sports games. If you were the Cowboys in this game, you beat everybody. They had Irvin. They had Smith. They had Aikman. Unbeatable. I'm not a Cowboys fan. You can ask him. Nope. I'm not a Cowboys fan, but if I'm playing Tecmo Super Bowl, I'm the Cowboys every time. Yeah, I mean, I never really played that game. The game was, you know, I wasn't much into football at that age. I wasn't really that, you know, old enough to know what football is. But when I got older and I started playing, I didn't really care too much for it. I did play it once. It wasn't on my top list. That's okay. Number one. My number one, and still to this day, and always will be for every other game in this series, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Great game. Second game ever made. Released in 92 by Nintendo. Made the made the whole series even better. Oh, yeah, great game. You can't go wrong with that. Got to get my money. Number one for me though. His number two, oh, yep. Mario All Stars. The night three released by Nintendo had every game in it: Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Two, yep. Super Mario Three, which is my favorite, Super Mario World, yep, yep. and of course the Lost Levels. Oh, yeah, that was the first game that ever had those levels. You couldn't even play it on the originals. That's right. So that's our top ten list of Super Nintendo games. We hope you enjoyed it. But if you don't agree with us, which is fine, put your, list, put your list in the comments below. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe. But before we get out of here, we got just a couple of more things to talk about on Random Talk today. We're going to start off with the World Cup final. Today being Saturday, tomorrow being the World Cup, we have to talk about it. The two teams left, France and Croatia. Yeah. Who oh, would have thought, man. huh? I mean, honestly, when I was watching the England game, I thought England was going to win, but no. Okay. Croatia took it. Croatia got that Cinderella story. So who you got in the final? I actually want to see Croatia go. The underdogs. I really do. David beats Goliath. That would be an amazing story. Will Cinderella 
get that glass slipper? I don't know. Or we'll midnight strike on her. Ooh. <laughs> we're, also gonna, we're also going to talk about <laughs> our Vegas Golden Knights here. Mark andre Fleury signing uh, a three-year extension. Flower. So he's going to be with us for the next four seasons. Should be amazing. I think they'll bring a cup home soon. Yeah. And the last bit of news we got yesterday... A great baseball player, Chase Utley, oh. is going to retire after this season. Wonderful career. One of the best second basemen of all times. Chase Utley, you deserve the retirement. Definitely deserve the break. Yeah, you do. But we'd like to thank you for watching Random Talk. As always, like we said, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let everybody know what's going on here. Yeah, please do. We need, you know, that shares helps us out, you know, keeps us going. Yeah. We're enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying this. But until then, we'll see you later. Have a good one.